I'm Patricia Wangsness of Wangsness Connections and Caldwell Banker Bain. Today, we're going to talk about putting your home on the market for the holidays. Every November, we get asked the same question. Should I put my house on the market now or just wait until February? Every November, we have the same answer. November can be a great time to sell because the buyers in the market are motivated and the inventory is limited. Under normal circumstances, selling your home is inconvenient. You must keep it show ready every time you leave in the morning and you must be ready to take a walk for a buyer when they want to see your home at night or on the weekends. When the holidays arrive, many sellers don't want to be inconvenienced with these pressures. So off the market it comes. That leaves the desperate sellers and the vacant houses for buyers to choose from. Not too appealing for a buyer that's being transferred and needs to start a new job at the beginning of the year. Remember, buyers that are out looking at this time of the year are motivated. With all the pressures of the holidays, who wants to go out in the cold, the rain, the snow, and the dark to look at a house if they don't have to? One advantage of keeping your house on the market is that decorations can make a home feel really homey, and that's a big plus on the buyer's emotional buying meter. Thanksgiving cornucopia, pumpkins, holiday wreaths, and the aroma of pine and cinnamon can all evoke a very positive feeling for the buyer that your home would be the best home for them to create new holiday memories. That being said, I have seen some people that went over the top and drove buyers away. The houses that have 10 snowmen, music, Santa with a full set of reindeer on the roof can be very off-putting to a buyer, not to mention the neighbors. A family room can look really small if there's a big tree in the corner and all the furniture is pushed aside to accommodate it. If there are too many candles lit, a buyer may get a little nervous about walking around for fear of knocking one over. A faint aroma of pine and mulled cider is good, but a pleasant aroma to one person can be a bad smell to another. So go ahead, put your house on the market, decorate tastefully, and bring a sense of specialness to your home. You will stand out far above the rest of the houses on the market and buyers will pick your home to purchase and start their new year. Thanks for watching. I'm Patricia Wangsness of Wangsness Connections. If you have any questions about this or other real estate topics, you can find us on the web at wangsnessconnections.com. Goodbye.